Hello, everyone. If you think that I f look out of whack, uh, meaning I don't look energetic, I don't sound upbeat, I don't sound like myself, you're right. Um, this morning when I got up, I, well, first it was, it was kind of a weird situation. You ever know that you're going to get up and then you don't get up and then you're like going, oh, I'll get up eventually. And then you're like, oh, I guess I better get up. Well, then at that point you get up, right? Well, I looked at the clock and I realized it was early, but yet I had this feeling like a gushing river. I guess that's a good way of putting it. And um, I something told me to immediately put my hand up here to my, my nose like this. And this is what happened. I had a gushing nosebleed. I, I've heard now, I when I sleep, I sleep in the front room because it makes me feel like I'm close to grandma in spirit because we always spent our evenings in the front room even after my workout we would watch late night TV together and I have a way of putting my phone on charge right above where I sleep because I set the alarm grandpa thinks that the phone must have come down and hit me and that's when my nose started bleeding I don't think that's the case um, if many of you noticed Yesterday and the day before I was not feeling my oats. Well, really I haven't been feeling my oats for about eight days But it's a long story. Um, but I was starting to have like really major neck pain last night and I had worked out and I thought you know what I'm gonna just take two more of that Excedrin tension headache and It it was working, but it wasn't working working and I couldn't get that the tension that pain that pressure out of my neck at which point I decided I was going to go to bed which was unusual for me because it was a little earlier than usual and I don't know maybe it was a combination of things but something was not right and I got up this today and I was like dragging all day and I worked all day long I could have called in sick I could have been one of those call offs but not me. I worked. Now granted my first half I got 15 minutes E time but that was because of they, we were too slow and they wanted to make the calls go faster. So, But I worked all day long. I felt like crap but I worked all day long. And I knew what was waiting for me after work. I had to do our grocery shopping with grandpa tonight. It couldn't wait. Couldn't wait till tomorrow. Couldn't wait to anything like that because the cat needed to have cat food. You know we had to have things in this house it just had to be done so we did that and I watched a movie tonight grandpa did not get to fix my bike for many of you who got to see me on Facebook live last night I posted that my bike for some reason is reading like a bunch of eights so I guess that means it needs new batteries okay I tried to look at that way th the battery thing three ways from Sunday and I can't figure it out and my dad, Mike, and Grandpa had put the bike together for me, so I need the batteries reinserted. But maybe it's a sign that I need to take tonight off because I bled so much and I feel so weak. That's the only bad thing about this nosebleeds thing. It's not like I'm going to die or feel like I'm going to die. It's just I feel weak. Um, I did do some artwork today while working, so I thought I'd share that with you. Um, I finally finished up the Christmas bear and it says on the back I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year a Christmas Carol okay so I thought I was gonna be done with all the Christmases but then I was like okay I'll do this one about eggnog which actually gives you the recipe to eggnog on the back so let's read what it says eggnog dates back to their third to the blah, blah, blah. Eggnog dates back to the 13th century and is probably a descendant of medieval hot drink called posset. Americans are said to enjoy 15 million gallons of eggnog annually. The word, quote, nog, end quote, comes from, quote, noggin, end quote, a small wooden mug used to drink ale. 
According to historical records, George Washington had his own recipe for a sweet, boozy eggnog. On Christmas Eve, it's the National Eggnog Day. Today, you can buy eggnog-flavored lip balm, soap, saltwater taffy, gumballs, gelatin, and more. Now, if you notice the cups, I made them kind of mahogany color with the eggnog inside and a cinnamon stick because it said it was served in wooden cups. And I wanted the eggnog on top here to reflect that mahogany color with the eggnog course some Christmas ornaments, gingerbread cookies in a bowl. And they give you the recipe on the back. If anybody wants to make eggnog, I'll read it off for you. Six eggs, two cups of heavy cream, two cups of milk, one teaspoon of teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of cinnamon, three fourth cup sugar divided, a half a cup and a fourth a cup. They say two cups bourbon and one ounce light rum, but I don't say that. Optional garnish cinnamon stick, I say use that. Uh, you're supposed to separate the e six eggs, add a half a cup of sugar to the yolks, beat to dissolve the sugar, and beat the white stiffs, add a fourth cup sugar, mix the yolks and whites together, stir in two cups of heavy cream and two cups of milk. They say add two cups of bourbon and one ounce light rum, but I say skip that. Add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, mix lightly, refrigerate before serving. After chilling, sprinkle with cinnamon and top off with a cinnamon stick. Now, what am I working on next? Well, I figure, you know, 2020, we're going to say the best is yet to come. And I think that's like a tree of life. So that's what I'm working on. Um, I'm not going to sing for you tonight. Like I said, I feel weak and I just, I don't feel like myself, if that makes any sense. So I'm probably, after I shoot this one video, going to go brush teeth and go straight to bed. But I just wanted to tell you what happened today, show you what happened. And I hope that from here on out, Life gets better. I keep saying that, but it's got to, you know? And, of course, if I didn't have a New Year's Eve wish, it wouldn't be New Year's Eve. So I'm going to keep that one close to the heart. It is what it is, and hopefully it'll improve someday. And love y'all. I did want to share this going into um, New Year's Eve with you. Me, myself, and I had no credit cards this year to use for Christmas. But I made sure everybody was thought of. I made sure everybody had something. And everybody's asking me, how did you do it, Donna? Very simple. There was eBay. There was um, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. But most importantly, it didn't really matter so much what you got somebody as long as they knew they mattered. You spent your time, your effort, and that is what mattered most. And uh, I hope everybody in life realizes that, what really matters. And God bless you all.